Happy St. Patrick's Day. This is the day after. Y'all niggas subscribe right now, bro. I know I'm cutting off in the middle of the little blog talk session, but subscribe up right now. Right now, right here, boom. We got 70% that's not subscribed, and we got 20% that is subscribed. We need everybody to subscribe up right now. More bangers on the way, daily blogging. I don't care what curl happened. We make sure we get these blogs out daily. Like this situation right here, part two is about to come, post to come out right now, but we're going to post this and say it. It's cool. But make sure y'all subscribe right now. God, enjoy the video. It's like that, man. It's not that I didn't get to record. It's to be honest with y'all, I ain't want to put that, I ain't want to put that image up that getting drunk is cool. Da, 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 da. I know this is a, this is a couple blogs down from other times I got drunk and all that. To tell y'all, I'm not here to explain nothing or just try to say sorry for anything. I'm not that type of nigga. I don't care. It's just that, bro, you're going to have your little fun here and there, but I know the ultimate goal is stay focused and keep grinding, bro. I'm not, I'm not going to keep doing this shit and thinking that, oh, everything will be good if I just do it this time. Now, I don't think like that, bro. So I'm not here to explain about that shit. I'm just here to tell y'all the real about how I feel about people in general. You feel me? Me? Hold on. Let me check something. Don't try niggas live, bro. No, I'm not sure. I know I hear somebody walking around in this motherfucker. Nah, I'm being me, yeah. All right. All right, come on. Let me see. He's saying me. Me I have to check real quick. Uh, I be, nigga, you know how it is when you got PTSD, nigga. You know where, you know where I'm from. I ain't got to say too much. But, yeah. I thought everybody left and shit, so I had to go check that. I'm breaking out of my face and shit. But, let me tell y'all the real, man. I don't, I don't trust nobody. But this video is not about how my trust and shit like that. I'm going to get straight to the point. I don't fuck with nobody, bro. That's how I am. I don't fuck with nobody, man. And this the reason. Let me get y'all. Let me get y'all the whole reason. You know what I And since we right behind here. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on so I can see it a little bit. Bro, what do I need to fuck with people for? All people is good for is getting you and shit. Fucking with your money. And then it's all type of goofy shit. Lame shit. I'm not with none of that, bro. I feel like when you get in a certain point in your life, you want to focus You want to focus on certain shit. Because, like, the age I'm at now, niggas mostly focus on bitches. And I say money, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm at the stage of my life where I grew past all that shit. I think I had my little phase where I, I want to fuck all the bitches I talk to. Duh, 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 duh. I got out that phase, bro. And be honest with y'all, I can't connect with nobody. I cannot connect with nobody. I'm not going to sit here and fake it. I just can't connect with nobody, bro. I'm the chosen one. I do my own thing. I don't go off. I don't mess with nobody. I don't be on nobody line 24-7. I don't do none of that shit, bro. I do. I go off and do my own thing. I make sure I do what I got to do to play my role right now. It's with helping my people out. And they're doing what the fuck I got to do. I'm not sitting here wasting time, sitting here complaining about shit I don't, I don't have. Because, nigga, I'm the type to go get it. I'm not the type of nigga to sit here and cry in your face all the time. It's like me calling my brother all day. Oh, bro, I don't got this right now, bro. Did it, did it, but I, I need to do this and get that. Nigga, I ain't doing that. I'm not doing that little phase. Nigga, I'm going to get straight to it. If I know I got to do this to get that, my nigga, put two two together. I'm going to do it. Straight up. Y'all got to learn how to hold your nuts, especially as a dude. Ticks don't like that. I should ask my mom first before I go make this money move right here real quick. Nigga, your mom looking at you like, nigga, just go get the money. The fuck wrong with you, bro? Like, what's up with you, bro? If you feel like you got to check in with somebody before you do something, you shouldn't be doing it at all. I'll tell you that now. i say this again. If you feel like you got to check in with anybody, you shouldn't be doing it at all, bro. Because that means you're doing something that's a chance that either get you locked up, get you killed, or might fuck up your family. Feel me? But I don't fuck with nobody. When you get to a certain age, when you're 19 plus, bro, you on your own. Your mom treating you like a grown ass man. You're not getting baby no more. The titty is out the mouth, bro. It's time to go get it. You in that phase now? Okay, nigga, 
You need to do, you need to figure out what you need to do and get up on your feet before you're 21 to get out of my house. That's how it is, straight up. Some people need a little more extra time. I'm not saying this is a like a sign y'all go rush and get out your mama house. I'm not saying that. I'm saying from 19 to by 25, that's the time to get your life started. Your life started. If you still staying with your mom, like I am, and I admit that, I fully admit that and everything. You still staying with your parents. Your life haven't started yet. Unless you staying with them, you got the bread, and you feel a move out here in a couple years, but you just stacking up. That's different. I'm talking about if you ain't got shit going on right now. You gonna, you know, you gonna you getting your shit on the road. You're young, I understand that. But if you got to check in with somebody to make a big move, you're not supposed to be doing it, bro. Brother, mom, dad, you're not supposed to be doing it then. Feel me? And the whole thing about people, bro, I'm not going to hold this conversation up so I can get earlier into the book. But this is my last big point on people. People will hold you back. i seen people's mothers hold people back. i seen people's brothers hold their people back. i seen people's dads hold it back because they had put that little shit in your head. Like, oh, you got to be cautious. You got to be this and that. But look, bro, let me tell you something. You stay in survival mode forever, you ain't never going to grow. And that's a fact. I don't care who you is. I don't care who you rock with. I don't care who you get down with. I don't care how much money you get. Nigga, you going to have a honey k in the bank today. What did I tell my cousin last night? Y'all don't know because I didn't record it. I told my cousin last night, you going to have a honey k in the bank. It doesn't matter if you're not doing shit with your life. You ain't got nothing to invest that to. You ain't got no, you ain't got no way to double that up. You just making, you just have all that money for no reason. It's just going to sit in that account and keep on decreasing. If you're not doing shit with your life, it doesn't matter, bro. I hear people all the time, oh, I got 10 beds in my account, bro. 20 beds in my account. Nigga, that shit don't fucking matter, nigga. If you're not doing nothing with your life, if you ain't got no plans of reinvesting that money, no plans of just reinvesting that money, stacking triple in your money, doing whatever to your money, taking care of your peoples with that money, or this is just a backup plan just to have. It doesn't matter, bro. So I'll tell you now, niggas do not care. Because what? 80% of Americans, 85% of Americans have less than $100 in their account. They do. Look it up. I'm not capping. It's either like 70 or 80% have less than $100 in their bank account, my nigga. Make sure that they give a fuck. Catch you on next clip. Oh. Oh.